Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordan and welcome to a video that I have been so excited to make for several months. And of course that's my bookshelf organization video and an office tour. Um, this is my first time doing a voiceover on a video, so hopefully it sounds okay. Um, it feels a little interesting to be recording my voice while watching a time lapse of myself <laughs> unpacking books, uh, but I think this is the best method so that I can talk through what I'm doing in this video, answer some questions that might come up as people are watching, and then I'm assuming I'll just be able to play music for a big chunk of it and it can be satisfying to watch come together. But if you are new to my channel, let me provide a little bit of context to my house and office situation. Um, I am married with two kids and we recently have moved from Iowa to North Dakota across the Midwest. And it's been a several month moving process from when we originally decided we were moving to listing and selling our old house and packing up that old house, moving in with my in-laws for several weeks while we were between houses, and then finally closing and moving into this house. So I am so ready to be in this new space, our own space, and I'm loving our new house so far. I do work from home full time. So one of our must haves in this new house was a dedicated office for me to work out of, which I also knew was going to turn into my library slash bookshelf slash booktube filming room. So, um, I've been very excited about it. In my previous house, I kept my books in my daughter's bedroom because I had shelves on her wall in there, and I had some bookshelves in our sunroom, and I kept books in my bedroom, and otherwise just super scattered around the entire house. So I've been really looking forward to this room where I can keep my entire book collection all in the same place. After picking this house and measuring this room, I figured out that I wanted three full-size bookshelves on this wall that you're looking at and decided to go with the classic Billy bookcases from Ikea, which are a bit of a booktube staple and for good reason because they are large, simple, easy to buy multiples of, and relatively affordable in relation to other large bookcases. Um, I've seen lots of other people on booktube and bookstagram basically retrofit their Billy bookcases to look more like build-ins. So that's also what I decided to do with the trim pieces that you see here in between and on top of the bookshelves. And I'll have a better view for what that all looks like a little bit later in the video. Uh, but I think that those trim pieces make it look a little bit nicer and like one big piece rather than three separate bookshelves, which I really like. My dad is the one who made this vision come to life. I only showed him a few inspiration pictures and he figured out exactly what we needed to buy. He went out and got the wood and within 48 hours of moving into this house, I had these bookshelves built and ready for me to add my books to. All we did was nail some four inch white trim pieces and then fill in the nail holes. So really simple, but my dad made it even simpler because I had to do basically nothing. And then as far as book organization, as you can see, I decided to sort all of my books by color and get them into a rough rainbow order. Um, as I was organizing the books, I was toying with the idea of keeping my book of the month books and my book series separated to keep those all together. But then decided it was simpler and would look better to just mix those in with the rainbow as well. My brain loves color coordinated shelves and for the most part I have no issues like locating specific books because my brain quickly associates 
books uh, to their covers and spine colors, but I do know that's a controversial topic, so let me know how you organize your books and we can compare. <laughs> uh, this took me about an hour to take all of my books out of their boxes and get them onto the shelves and sorted by color. First, I just wanted to get them onto the shelves in like those vertical stacks that you can see because I didn't know actually how much of the bookshelves would be filled out by the books that I already owned. Um, it turns out that I do have plenty of space for expansion on these shelves, which I am happy about, but I will just let you watch the rest of this portion and watch me figure out the styling and everything with some music, and then I'll come back on voiceover for the final overview of the shelves and a quick tour of of my home office. Okay, so here are the shelves in their final state as they are today. As you can see, I did space out the books a little bit by putting some of them forward facing. Uh, it just helps fill out the shelves a little bit, plus I can feature some of my favorite books and favorite book covers, um, and I love how they look. I am just doing a slow kind of pan here to give you a close-up view of all of the shelves. I'm not going to go book by book and tell you what's on my shelves, but you can get a little bit of a visual here. Also, as you can see, I did add some lights to the backside of the paneling pieces on the side to give it like a glow, which I also think is really fun for these bookshelves to be able to make them glow any color I want or rotate through the rainbow colors, or I could just turn them off and it looks like a normal bookshelf still. So I think that's a really fun way to add some personality to your bookshelves if you're looking for something fun to do. Highly recommend just LED light strips. On this bottom shelf here, I've just got some miscellaneous like puzzles, craft supplies, my final shelf of books, and then the stack of books I'm currently reading, some office supplies, and then there were some book sleeves there. And then next to my bookshelves, here I'm featuring my TBR cart. So these are all of the books that I haven't read yet. Gonna try to keep it constrained to just those bottom two shelves. And then here you can see my desk set up. So I've got two desks that kind of go together to make an L shape and my work computer monitors. And that's the overview of the entire office. So it is definitely my happy place. I love how it's turned out. That is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.